Hey there, sports fans. So we've got these awesome programmable LEDs on the house. We set up some themes for our favorite sports team. Now we're gonna use If This Then That plus ESPN plus webhooks to have the lights turn on when the game starts. Game on. Of course, this assumes that you already have Home Assistant set up and some lights set up. Videos for that. If you haven't done the outdoor programmable holiday lights, any other kind of light that you have would work, but of course the setup might be a little different. The first step is to sign up for If This Then That. That's hard to say. If This Then That is a platform that connects a bunch of services, social media, and devices. Once you're logged into If This Then That, go to My Applet, then click New Applet. Now click on Plus This. This is where we set kind of the equivalent of the trigger. Search for ESPN, click on it, and connect it. So far, there are six events that you can use from ESPN as triggers. We want New Game Start. Now select the sport and the team, and then click Create Trigger. Next, we're gonna set the action. Click Plus That, and it'll show you all the services that you can use as the action. The one we want is called Webhooks. Find it and connect. Now in Webhooks, under the URL, you start with the fixed public address for your home assistant. If you don't have a fixed public address set up, there's a good video. Now at the end of your public home assistant address, after the port, type forward slash API, forward slash service. Now the service we want, in this case, input underscore select, another forward slash, and then select underscore option. Now question mark, API underscore password equals, and then your home assistant password. The method is post, and the content type is application JSON. Now in the body, you put the JSON text to select your light effect option. This is JSON, so it's the same formatting that you use in other automations in Home Assistant. Your entity ID may be different than mine. To find yours, look in Home Assistant on the States page. Then for option, you put the name of the effect that you want for your team. That's it. Now when the game starts, the lights come on. And the whole neighborhood knows it. Now you want to go pro level? Let's make it an actionable notification. Remember those? ESPN will also let us use the end of the game score as a trigger. So let's use that to decide if we want to change the lights to celebrate or to mourn at the end of the game. On the main page of IFT, go to My Applets, start a new applet, find ESPN, and pick end of game score as the trigger. And for the action, or the plus that, we'll use webhooks again. This time, in the URL space, we're going to use a different service. We're going to change it to API forward slash service forward slash notify forward slash iOS underscore and your device ID. Again, this is post and application JSON. And now under the message, we want this. It's kind of tricky. There are some important spaces here. And if you don't have the spaces in the right places, it won't work. Spaces in the right places? If you don't have the spaces in the right places, it won't work. This is the title, so call it whatever you like. It'll be at the top of your notification. The name of the action, which we'll set up in just a minute. It'll be in the description, copy and paste. At the end of every IFT applet, make sure you hit finish. If you don't, everything you just did gets wiped out. Now to set up our action button in Home Assistant, we open our configuration.yaml file, go to the iOS component, under push and under categories, we add a new name. The name can be anything you want. The identifier has to match what you just put in your IFT applet. Now there's going to be two actions for this notification, meaning we'll have two buttons. One will press if they won, the other will press if they weren't so lucky. Now we go under automations, old, and make new automations for these two buttons. New automation starts with an alias, initial state true, hide entity true, then trigger, platform, iOS, notification, action fired. Under event data, we put action name and then the name of the win button. This has to match what you put under the iOS component. Now the action is the service, input select, select option. Then data, 
entity ID, the name of the string of lights, and then option, and the name of the light effect that you want to turn on when your team wins. Yeah! Now we need to do the same thing for the loss button. I'm going to set up two actions for this automation. The first one will be to set the lights back to solid, which is where I leave them for the default. That makes it ready for the next time that you want to turn on a new effect. If you wanted to change the light to a different effect option, put whatever name of the effect you want in this part here. And then this section turns the lights off. Pretend it never happened. That's it. That was kind of a lot, I know, but it's super cool. Make sure you check your config, restart Home Assistant, go to the app on your phone, and update the push settings so that all this will work. There you go. Now just wait for game time. That's it. Super fun. Good luck to your team, unless they're playing mine. Adios. Comma, space, quotes, data. Hi, baby. Can I have a few more minutes? Come give me a kiss. Can you give me a kiss. Did you make pictures? Yeah. Where's my kiss from you? Come here. Sweet girls. We just wanted okay. to know what you were doing. I'm doing this. I'm almost getting done. Okay. Love you.